and have got their ace on the mound. The right-hander Zach Gallen looking to win his third straight start. Well, you always feel good when Zach Gallen takes the mound. I mean, the last couple starts he's thrown well, but he still hasn't hit his full stride yet. And I think this might be a good opportunity for him to really spin up a gem. Tough play. Gino has to charge. Do or die. Suarez has got it. And he gets Abrams at first. De Eugenio Suarez, the glove has been there all year long. Gino is so fun to watch defensively. He reads this very quickly. Comes in, times it, glove, throw, and gets him. A beautiful curveball right there. Gets his first strikeout. And there's two down for Wood. Soft liner right side, and Marte played it off to the side. Base runner for Washington. And the 1-1 from Gallon. Punched to first, Haven Smith gobbles it up, and Gallon puts a zero on the board to start. Well, 22nd start this year for Mackenzie Gore, six and eight, four, five, one. You look at it, and you're going, all right, the high pitch count per inning, 18.7 pitches per inning. And this one popped up to the right side for the second consecutive game. He's going to swing at the first pitch and make an out to start their night. And he does it again. McCarthy lines it into center, and that's the first Diamondback hit. He's hitting over <laughs> 350 versus left-handers this year. Here nearly 70 at bat. There goes McCarthy. Ruiz the throw. Not in time. And Jake is in there with a stolen base. And that one on a hop. Vargas forward to get it. And a key second out. Suarez will line it to left. And James Wood is right there. Zero on the board for Mackenzie Gore. And a good start to his afternoon. Garcia 277. 11 homers already a career high for him. Just flails at that curveball. And it looks like Candy that Gallon is feeling that curve here today. Oh, goes the other way. And that's right over the bag. It's going to carry him toward Corbin Carroll out there in the right field corner. And Alex Call now adds an extra base hit. Allen has struck out two so far. And make it three. Sticking with that curveball, and that was just an overmatch. Travis Blankenhorn is blanked. Still no score. It is scoreless early. Gallon looking very sharp. Here is the top of the order now in C.J. Abrams. 2-2 two -two swing and a miss. Another Gallon curve. Collects his fourth strike out of the ball game. Now the first pitch grounded to third. Fair ball. Suarez has it. And he throws across the diamond in time. That's a 1-2-3. Top of the third inning for Gallon. He is rolling along. McCarthy singled and stole second in the first. Jake gets the start in center field today. McCarthy lifts it out to Blankenhorn, who can't get it. Go, Jake, go. There he goes. McCarthy flies into third. Blankenhorn got a late break, not a lot of closing speed, and he couldn't get to that one. Jake McCarthy, two for two, both hits off left-handers. They'll take a run any which way they can get it right now. There it is, off the glove of Ruiz, and McCarthy makes it one nothing Diamondbacks. And that's an easy run, a triple and a wild pitch. It went well up and away, didn't break maybe. Jake scores standing up. Learn his base hit down the line. He shoots it by Vargas. And Guriel earned that one, making a nine game hitting streak. Fastball up, not reachable. First K of the day. Back to back doubles, a wild pitch in between, giving Arizona the lead. And this one driven the other way beyond the reach of the shortstop, Newman. James Wood, two of the Nats, three hits. Nats had their leadoff man on three times last night. First time today. Serves it the other way, and the line drive is fair into the corner. James Wood approaching third. Ricky Gutierrez will wave him home. Here here comes the throw, and safe is the call. And Harold Ramirez ties it up as Wood just sneaks in ahead of the relay. Each team now with four hits. Right to second for Marte. Ramirez into third, and that's one out in the fourth. Got him. The changeup has been right behind the curveball, it seems, in terms of effectiveness. Let's not overlook that changeup. He's throwing it a bunch. Paul has uh, not chased out there. Now he's run the count full. So they come up and in, and he's on base again. Alex Call having a tremendous series. Haven Smith at first. Dallin covers, and Zach Strands too. Uh, Washington gets the equalizer. And in the fourth inning, we are tied at one. Vargas pulls a clean single to right. And now the Nats have their leadoff man aboard again. Vargas on the run. Abrams lifts this one pretty deep left field. Richick has room. And he'll tomorrow back to the bank at first. Swing and a miss. Got him to chase a curveball. And that's out number two. Strikeout number six on the afternoon for Gallon. Two outs. Vargas still holding. Right to Cattell Marte. Went right back to the curve and got the out. Gallon strands that leadoff single. And it stays one to one. You know what he's done against left-handers this year, Cattell. 362 versus lefties with 14 home runs. 
And it chops this one short left. Wood will have to play it on a bounce, and Cattell drops it in. It's another two out hit. Jake McCarthy, two for two. He has single, triple. McCarthy into center. McCarthy, who had a five for five the other day, is three for three today, all against the left hander. And suddenly, plot thickens here in the fifth inning. High in the air, Guriel, left center. They're converging. The call made by Alex Call. And the Diamondbacks done in the bottom of the fifth inning. Two hits with two out. They leave them both aboard. Harold Ramirez, who had an RBI double in the fourth, hit on the ground to the left side. To his left is Suarez. Chino throws to first, and the leadoff man gone in the Washington sixth. Here's the bouncer to third. Suarez has got it. Allen through six. And the D-backs have the leadoff man aboard here in the sixth. And they're starting to get some more base runners against Moore. And that one is by Garcia. And Gino heads for third. Grichik turns on the Jets into second. And he's got the hustle double. What a start to the sixth. Second and third, no outs to start the inning. And here's Pavin is 0 for 2. Jammed him that time. That stayed fair. Suarez is home and it's 2 to 1. So Pavin really got jammed on that curveball. Sounded like the bat died out there. But the run comes home and Grichik's into third. And with Mackenzie Gore at 98 pitches, he will leave after five and a third. Jacob Barnes will face a lefty as Geraldo Perdomo will hit for Kevin Newman. There it is. He drops it over shortstop. Grichik scores. Perdomo, the pinch hit RBI. And it's 3 to 1. That's his fifth RBI in this series. Geraldo Perdomo. Corbin Carroll steps in. He's 0 for 2. Here goes Perdomo, keeping the foot on the gas. Abrams lets it get away. Perdomo into third. That's a stolen base and an E2. The error on the catcher Adams on the throw. High chopper. Garcia, Perdomo scores, and Corbin Carroll makes it 4-1. to one. Boy, that hung up there forever over the head of Garcia, dropped in behind him. A three-run sixth inning so far for the D-backs as they lead 4-1 to one and still looking for more. Hosey finds a gap, and Corbin is flying around the bases. Herrera to the wall, Corbin to the plate. Jose Herrera with the RBI double. It's a four-run sixth and a five-to-one lead. Garcia salvaged a one for three last time up last night, and he's been the Nats leader lately with runners in scoring position. And Garcia hammers one up the middle. Well, there he is, runners in scoring position. Luis does it again. That'll put him over 360. It's a 5-2 ball game. Geraldo Perdomo to lead off against Derek Law in his second inning of work. First pitch, bottom of the eighth, and a long one to right center. Jacob Young makes a fabulous play in full stride and for him that means he's flying and where he ended up hitting that wall is about 405 feet away. This is the best first step in the game and it's not even close. He's here. He's there. He's everywhere. Paul had that string of three straight blown saves earlier this month and five in a row converted before the oopsie over the weekend against the Pirates. So here he is 16 saves and 20 chances this year. That's a pretty solid percentage overall. A 3 1 from Seawall. He's walked the leadoff man and the fastest guy on the field. Paven Smith, what a play! Got him! Paven Smith, spectacular! And Young is in at third. They get the first out in the ninth. Well, that's a second nice play that Paven's made in this game. He robbed him of a base hit. C.J. Abrams, 0 for 4. Gets under that one. Hits a deep right center. Alec Thomas can't get to it. And the Nats have life. It's 5 to 3 on C.J.'s 52nd run battered in. Paul Seawald cannot find it. He has walked two in the inning and given up an RBI double. He has loaded the bases, the third walk in the inning. And here comes Torrey Lovello. He's going to have to get his closer out of there. Just not Paul Seawald's best day. Oh, could hit the strike zone. And the Nationals are a base in away from tying the ball game. Thompson, 42 appearances. Going to have to pull a rabbit out of the hat right here. Got him. He's that sinker. They're one out away. And the batter will be Luis Garcia Jr. Who had the RBI hit in the eighth against Ginkle. Ball gets away. Everybody moves up. And it's five to four. First base open. They're going to put Garcia on and work to Riley Adams. Bounce to second. Marte has got it. And Ryan Thompson saves the day. And the Diamondbacks get the series sweep.